So I have no idea what a Vision Pro is going to look like. This is a one terabyte Vision Pro. This is the Vision Pro carrying case. Let's go. I'm just gonna take off this white. It's a big box. Here's a pull tab. Lift up like a, feels like a game console. Oh, there it is. It's like a display case with its cozy on, a little cover. And then this is gonna be all the accessories. Ah, the polishing cloth. Very polishing cloth-like. This one says Vision Pro on it, so there you go. And we got the light seal cushion. Yeah, look at that. You don't even have to rip it. So this is a different size one. Um, there's another one that's on here, and I think you, you swap them out for better fits. It's a Vision Pro book. There's a whole, this is the most book thing that I've ever seen with an Apple product. It does like a what's in the box, a tour of the pieces, battery, getting started. This is interesting. Then the bands. Well, there's already one on here. This is the, um, the solo strap, solo band, but there's also the dual loop strap. There's two bands in the box. I actually like this one better. It's a better, more balanced fit on the head, but maybe it doesn't look as iconic. We got more. This is the battery. The battery uh, is necessary, and there's a big cord that it tethers to. And then, AC adapter, 30 watt USB-C. That's what I got in the box. Let's get to that case. The Vision Pro travel case. It's very puffy. It feels like a nice winter puffy coat. So inside, accessory pouch and instruction manual, let's see. Yeah, it tells you about what direction to put the case in and how load all the things in so they're nice and uh, cozy. Zip it up. And that is the Vision Pro travel case. So I got the Vision Pro. The next thing I wanna do is set it up for the first time and see what that's like. I'm gonna take off my glasses because I can't wear those with this. Let's do this. I feel like Ready Player One. First, I'm gonna tighten the strap. And it says, press and hold to align. There's the digital crown, which is uh, you're familiar with from Apple Watches. And when I press and hold that, it actually adjusts the lenses. They move in, sp in the headset to adjust to my IPD, which is the interpupillary distance. Okay, an Apple logo just popped up. I now see the room. I see all of you. I heard the Mac chime and hello just got written in script floating over uh, the room around me. I'm just gonna press the digital crown to begin. Now I've got a pop-up screen that says bring iPhone or iPad nearby to get started. Waiting for Apple Vision Pro. Now it says look here with Apple Vision Pro. I've got a QR code that appears. Now I'm staring at it and it says continue setting up on Apple Vision Pro. And now it says look at your code to pair optical inserts. Oh, I see. Now it's got a little focus area and then once it locks on, to show that it's scanned and a little check mark, press the digital crown to set up your eyes and hands. Look at your hands to set up. So you hold your hands out. Now it's gonna scan them because it actually allows your hands to appear in mixed reality. Now I'm doing eye tracking setup. It says, look at the dot and tap your fingers together to select it. I've done this before. There's a whole ring of colored dots. I look at the dots and I tap them. And it's making little chimes when I do it. And I looked all around the colored dots and it did it. So that's the eye tracking calibration. Persona beta. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna scan my digital identity now. Apple's persona, which is what they call what you might know as an avatar, that is, um, you can only record one at, a time, one at a time. That's a photoreal capture of yourself uh, for FaceTime. And it will appear in FaceTimes and it'll appear in any sort of like telepresence stuff that you do in other apps. I'm gonna begin the capture, remove the Vision Pro, and you can't wear glasses during this. So I'm gonna have to kind of squint. The display gives you the setup. Align your entire face within the frame. Okay. Slowly turn your head to the right. Now, slowly turn your head to the left. Now, tilt your head up. Then tilt your head down. Next, let's capture your facial expressions. Smile with your mouth closed. Then make a big smile with your teeth showing. Now, raise your eyebrows. Close your eyes for a moment. 
Capture complete. Put Vision Pro back on to continue. <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> That's a lot of steps. But let's see how this turned out. Creating persona. And whoa, yeah, there was my, there was my face. I look like I just woke up in the morning because I'm not wearing glasses. And I can see myself talking to myself uh, in the mirror. Now I create digital eyewear. Like I've got a persona that's here that is myself, but I couldn't scan my glasses. I'm gonna pick uh, ones that look kind of like Ray-Bans. And I'm gonna click save. Oh, optic ID setup. Okay, so this is how uh, you have biometric scanning on the Vision Pro. Can recognize the unique aspects of your iris to allow secure access to features. Does unlock and security, persona, Apple Pay and wallet, music and app store. Look here for optic ID. Move the headset slightly up. So it's asking me to, okay. Yep, optic ID setup complete, that was it. Press digital crown to open home. And now boom, I'm here. Finally, the setup is done. Relatively easy, although a lot of steps to go through, but it, it feels like setting up an iPhone or iPad. You can see my eyes. Well, that is weird, yeah. yeah.